I'm going to show you the most efficient way to learn vocabulary and not to forget it, according to science. All right. If you are interested in language learning, vocabulary is going to be extremely important for you because if you don't know the words, you cannot understand or speak the language. All right. So you need to learn a lot of words. Vocabulary is extremely important. And the problem a lot of people struggle with is learning enough words and then also remembering those words. And I'm going to show you three uh, highly efficient techniques that you should use to uh, learn words faster and also to uh, remember them much more easily and for longer, all right? According to science. All of this is science-based. Basically, you need to remember this graph here. This is how uh, space repetition works. This is your memory, and this is the new information that you learn. This, by the way, applies to not only vocabulary and language learning, anything. Anything that you're learning, any new skill, any new piece of information you're trying to learn, there's a forgetting curve there, right? You get exposed to the information, and you, again, if you understand it, because the quality of the exposure is also important. If you just read it, but you don't understand what you're reading, then you obviously you won't remember it. But if you get exposed to it and you understand it, you're able to do it. Uh, if, you talk, if we're talking about not languages, but something else like sports or any kind of physical skill, you learn it in the moment and then you start forgetting it immediately. All right. And if you don't review it, you'll eventually forget it. It doesn't mean that it goes like that, all the way down and back to zero. No, it, it, like it drops very quickly. And but then, uh, if you see it again in thirty days or whatever, you'll have a vague memory of what that was. But you'll probably you'll maybe remember five percent or one percent if you haven't seen it again. Right? This is what it does. But with each review, it does it. It falls less sharply, right? You see that this one uh, takes longer to go so down. So uh, it goes down much more slowly. So the forgetting curve gets less and less uh, drastic with each review. And that's why you need a lot of reviews in the beginning. Now, ideally, you'll review whatever you're learning many times and you'll space the repetition, right? You'll see it today, you learn it today, and then you'll review it tomorrow. And you don't need to necessarily review it the day after tomorrow, although I do recommend you do it, right? If you do, if instead of uh, one day one and then day three, day six, day 15, instead of doing that, if you're able to do, they, you learn it and then they learn in day plus one, plus two, plus three, like you've got a review in every single day for the first month or so. Obviously, you're going to remember it much better, right? But uh, ideally, uh, you'll review it, you'll space the reviews in time, and you will uh, continue reviewing it at least a few weeks uh, in the future, right? Maybe even a few months, depending on what you're learning. Um, what I don't want you to do is to cram your learning, your vocabulary. I mean, you should cram it, but then but go really hard, do a lot of reps the first day, the first couple of days. But then again, you re should review it after that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a in a, an efficient and easy way, how to do your reviewing without wasting too much time and without really having to organize much of your, like, without having to keep track of what you're reviewing, when, and, and things like that, right? So you need a lot of space repetition. And the more reviews, the better. And you should space like if this this only shows a month, but again, if you if instead of like you learn it here day one and then first review, second review. I mean, this is this is review four, but it should be review three because the first one's not a review. You're learning, um, but yeah, one learning session and four reviews. What I recommend you do is if you can do it right, and I'm going to show you how a learning session and. 10, 15, 30, if you 
if you want reviews in a month and then maybe 10 reviews the next month and maybe like five reviews the month after that. So the way to do it is very simple with vocabulary. You learn it in example sentences and you create audio files of those example sentences, create a play playlist and you listen to them over and over again. And when I talk about learning 100 words a day or 50 words a day or whatever, and people just, that's crazy talk, you can't, how are you going to review all of that? A thousand sentences, uh, more or less 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, depending on the language of audio. Less than an hour for a thousand sentences. How much time do you have in a week to listen to stuff while you are doing something else. Probably 10 hours, 20 hours, maybe a week for listening. If you have the will, you will find the time to listen to stuff while you're driving, while you're working out, you're going for walks, you're doing whatever. You're doing stuff at home. Instead of listening to some podcast where they talk about some nonsense, you listen to your sentences that you're trying to learn. And you, if you keep learning more sentences, more vocab every day, eventually you, the list of the list of sentences you have to review will grow so much that you won't be able to listen to the whole thing every day because if you've got ten thousand sentences there, then that's a lot, right? Um, that's like eight hours or nine hours or whatever. But um, if you focus on mostly listening to the ones that you are learning now. And the ones that you learned like, a month ago, two months ago, those you've listened to them, you listened to them then so many times and now you don't need that much reviewing. So for the older ones, because imagine this, it says weeks here instead of, instead of days. Um, for the older ones, you have to review them every once in a while instead of, constantly, right? So you listen to the new sentences, the new vocab several times a day at first, and then week two, you already like first week every day, second week, you listen to them like every other day or something. Third week, like every, maybe twice the whole week. And then la like fourth week, you listen to them, uh, like once a week is enough. And then after that, like once every like two or three weeks, that's enough, right? And you spend most of the time reviewing the more recent stuff. The stuff that you learned before that, a lot of it you won't even have to review it because a lot of the vocab and the uh, sentence structures and everything will keep showing up in newer sentences. So you are still reviewing it. That's the uh, beauty of languages that if you... you if it's high frequency vocab, it keeps showing up. Even if it's mid frequency vocab, it keeps showing up. But yeah, after reviewing it like 20 or 30 times in the first few days, you don't need to review it that much. And you can focus on reviewing the new stuff. And the old stuff, like once a week, once every couple of weeks. And that's enough. Because once you know, like I said, 10,000 words, 10,000 sentences, but you don't need to constantly keep reviewing those 10,000 sentences. Once you know half of that list, you'll also be able to review all that vocab by simply getting uh, yourself exposed to native speaker content because you'll know enough vocab to understand the content, right? So this is what your learning should look like. Focus on doing a lot of uh, reviewing the first day Lots of reading, lots of listening, lots of shadowing. Keep doing that in the next few days. And then just pace it and focus on the new stuff and occasionally review. Like leave more and more time between the reviews of the older stuff. But you'll still remember it easily because you review it so many times in the beginning. What you shouldn't do is just learn one thing and then not look at it again for three months. No, of course not. You, you review it regularly, but less and less regularly because the more you know of the language, the less reviewing you need to do. All right. So first thing was this space repetition, super important. Now, if you do space repetition just by reading and listening to your sentences and repeating them aloud, that's already 
that's already powerful. That's going to work by itself, right? But if you want to make it even more effective, if you're encoding the information, the new words, better in the beginning, then that means that the drop here will be less sharp. Yeah, instead of the I'll be like that. So the reviews will be more effective and you'll be able to review less because you remember them better. And to learn it better the first time, I highly recommend you use mnemonics. If you don't like mnemonics, you don't know how they work. Um, if you're close-minded about it, okay, don't use them. Just do a lot, of, a lot of review and a lot of repetition. Read, listen, and repeat them aloud. Um, but I recommend you use mnemonics. And the other thing, this is something that you should definitely use, is active recall. This is, if you ask Andrew Huberman, if you ask Carl Newport, any of those guys, the actual science guys, this is how you learn. Like anything, the best, the best way to remember anything, it's this. Space repetition plus active recall, right? Active recall meaning you test yourself. So you've got your words, your sentences, and you uh, listen to them, you read them aloud, you repeat them aloud a few times, and then tomorrow you, instead of doing that, which you should still do, you should still listen to them, but you also look at the text and you translate from your language into the target language without looking. That's active recall. You're testing yourself. You're testing your knowledge. And then you look um, at the target language sentences and see if you said it correctly or not. And doing that is much more efficient when it comes to remembering stuff than simply getting uh, passive exposure to it. Again, it's much harder work and it's a lot of effort and it's frustrating. And maybe you simply want to read and listen and, and repeat things aloud. But I highly recommend you do active recall with the sentences. Again, the more of that you do, the more active, the more actively you review the the words and the sentences, the less sharp the the uh, drop will be. So you will be able to review it less often. Although I highly recommend you review it often. But um, this is this is the uh big secret here space repetition is really easy if you've got text-to-speech generated audio files of your sentences because you simply have to okay, put them on your phone put your earbuds on and you just uh, press play and you listen to it while you do something else and as long as you've done proper learning with those sentences if you've if, if there are new sentences that you've you've never seen before obviously you won't understand well, you probably won't understand uh, if you at least if you're not at the higher level in the language but if you did a proper learning session first you know repeating them aloud reading them listening to them at the same time doing all of that and you do mnemonics with them and you do active recall you simply have to keep listening to them and if you can listen to an hour of, if you can listen to a thousand sentences in less than an hour, you can review your whole list many times every week, All right? So the space repetition part it just takes care of itself, and it's just easy. You do it in on autopilot. Um, this is why I'm not a big fan of Anki flashcards and things like that because it's very slow and time consuming. But simply listening to the sentences instead. It's easy and it's not time consuming because you can do it doing while well, you do something else. Okay, you could do Anki while you're waiting for whatever, like, but it's not the same thing, you know. It's you in order to review hundreds of sentences or words per day in Anki, you need a lot of time. In order to review thousands of sentences by listening to them, you just need two or three hours of your time. While well, you do something else that you would still be doing, just stop listening to music, stop listening to stupid podcasts about like ranting about some culture war thing or something like that. That's not going to do anything for your life anyway. Just listen to your learning sentences over and over again, right? Instead of Drake's last song or whatever latest nonsense, just listen to your sentences. It's boring, but it's highly effective. And you listen to the whole list. Daily, 
uh, for a month, two months, and you'll be able to say a lot of stuff just by doing that, just listening to the same sentences, right? It's, it's as simple as that. Language learning is not complicated. 